Hi everyone, this is Lisa Espinosa, spiritual career coach, author, and host of the podcast Soul Studio for Your Career. So I am here with you for some Monday motivation and I know some of you like me might work on the weekends. If you're entrepreneurs, if you're wellness professionals like many of my clients are, I know sometimes the weekends we teach classes and but however Monday still feels like the start of the week. So what I wanted to remind you of through this transmission is that your soul is the biggest motivator there is, right? Your soul is the best coach for you to evolve your career. And one really, not just fun, but important and transformative practice you can do on Mondays or the beginning of your week is to ask your soul, what is the one step you want me to take this week that will create huge momentum in my career. So as you know, the focus of my work is to help my clients, help students, help all of you evolve your career so that you can share more of your soul's gifts, more of your soul's medicine with the world, but doing that by following the guidance of your soul, right? Not by hustling and working so hard that you neglect yourself, but really connecting with that true essence within you that is wise, that is whole, that knows all of the gifts and blessings you're meant to bring to the world and knows that you are meant to be blessed as you bless others. So again, when you start the week, and this is something I do with my clients uh, who are in my online coaching program, is I ask them to reflect and pause and check in with their soul on what is the one thing, like one step that they're going to take no matter what this week that their soul is saying, this is a step for you to take. It doesn't mean you're not going to do other things, but this is the one step your soul is saying will create the biggest momentum in your career. And of course, the key is that you have to pause and you have to ask your soul. So we're going to do that together. And I want to remind you as you ask this question, as you ask your soul, your soul always answers you, always, no exception. However, sometimes you might not hear the answer right away. And that's totally normal. It might come later on. It might come through what I call indirect guidance, meaning that your soul might send you signs, might send you dreams, might send, might talk to you through synchronicity, through oracle cards, all these different ways to give you the message or to validate that you heard the right thing. Because I know many times you might hear something and then you question it. You're like, well, did that? Did I make that up? Was that my soul? So remember that you can always ask your soul to send you signs. All right. And the other thing before we check inside is that sometimes actually quite often when you ask your soul, okay, what's the one step you want me to take this week that will create the most momentum in my career? Sometimes the answer doesn't seem career related. So for example, this morning, as I was thinking about what am I going to do today for the Instagram video, I was like, I thought of this and then I was like, well, let me do this myself. You know, I was lying in bed still and I checked with myself and I have a lot going on this week. I have an awesome soul summit that I'm leading on Friday and I have a class on Wednesday that I'm teaching. I'm seeing lots of clients. So I expected my soul to tell me something about that. Instead, what came into my heart as I asked my soul was that I was for sure I had to download this um, audio meditation course that I've been thinking about taking. And it's just like a short thing, but it's it's based on a book that I, a spiritual um, book that I've been reading for years and years and years. And I was really surprised, like, wait, that's the step that's going to create the most momentum. And I really resisted it. And, you know, I checked inside again and I realized that my own ego was kind of judging that, right? I really was wanting something else. And also I recognized that there were parts of me that are scared to delve into a deeper meditation practice, even though I've been meditating for 12 years now every day. You're, you know, I know my soul is calling me to a deeper place. And I understood once I surrendered and said, okay, yes. I'm going to follow your guidance. I want to make sure to do that. That step of downloading this audio meditation course. I understood that in doing that, I was going to be able to create more space for my clients. I was going to be able to be more magnetic for all of the resources and support I need to share my medicine. So it made total sense. So enough preface. Let's do the important part. The most important part here is so wherever you are, If you can just start taking some nice cleansing breaths and just relaxing your body, feel the earth underneath you, feel your hips, feel so present and grounded and let's bring the palms of our hands over our heart center. 
Breathe into your beautiful heart. And either close your eyes or you can look into my eyes. Whatever feels right for you in this moment. And in your mind or out loud, say, beautiful, so I'm ready to receive from you. I'm ready to receive. And with your hands on your heart, just breathe a couple of times, receiving your soul's love, your soul's compassion, your soul's wisdom. Maybe you see it as beautiful light that is filling your heart, knowing that this is your birthright and that your soul is always so generous with you. And as you receive that, asking your soul, beautiful soul, what is the one step you want me to take this week that will create the most momentum in my career evolution? Again, what is the one step you're guiding me to take this week in my career that will create the most momentum and evolution? And one more time, what is the one step you're guiding me to take this week to create the most momentum in my career and just be in silence for a few breaths as your soul fills your heart with its answers trust and know that your soul always answers you and then with deep gratitude bring the palms of your hands together Bow to your beautiful soul and see your soul bowing back. And I bow to all of you watching this transmission. Bow to myself. And we end with a namaste. Namaste, everyone. And again, remember, your soul always answers you. So if, you're, if you didn't get something right now, stay open and present to receive the answer. And if you did get something and you're doubting it, just say, soul, I am doubting this. Send me all sorts of signs so that I know that you're, that this is what, what I heard. So let me pull one card for you. And this is actually, okay, the angel deck. This is Kyle Gray Angel Prayers Oracle. So I'm going to pull one card. Here we go. Ooh, healthy choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. And I want to say, just like I said, that for me, the guidance was download that audio meditation and start that course. Um, a lot of times guidance is around eating healthier, around getting more sleep, around walking, going to a yoga class, because those are all things that are going to open you up and help you to receive your soul's guidance even more, help you to enhance your intuition. So again, don't dismiss the guidance you receive if it doesn't seem career related. All right, everyone, I love talking to you and I wish you the best. Remember, nobody else has your soul's medicine. And if you want to connect with me privately or see some of the upcoming things I have, Coming up, just go to the, my bio and you will see the links to everything. Bye, everyone.